In this video, I'm gonna show you how the MT Pro meets or beats the one foot Infinibar in every single way. In fact, it should cost $100 more, but it costs $100 less. That's a big savings. Okay, but after you listen to him, I'm gonna convince you that this Infinibar is worth every penny. Really? Yeah, but you go ahead. All right, game on. Let's start with a big one, brightness. The MT Pro is brighter than the Infinibar. Yeah, it's true. And not just a little bit brighter, but 58% brighter. It's very visible. So what's it worth to me to have a light that's 58% brighter? Well, that's gotta be at least um, $40. Yeah, so now the difference is $140. Next, the MT Pro has more pixels. It has 36, whereas the Infinibar only has 24. This means that you get greater control over your gradients in the MT Pro. So what are more pixels worth? Well, that's gotta be at least another $20. Now, both of these lights come with a really great case, and that's a tie, but the MT Pro comes with an egg crate inside. Yeah, this is really nice. Now, you can purchase an optional egg crate for the Infinibar, but this is $59. Yeah, so another $59 for the MT Pro. Now, when it comes to build quality, they're both pretty much the same. They're both made out of metal. They both have magnets on the back. Um, the magnets on the Infinibars are a little stronger, but this light is lighter, and so it doesn't need as strong of magnets. I call that a wash. It appears that the screen is the exact same screen on both products, and it's really nice and easily laid out, and it has a very similar menu system. Oh, and because they're both Aperture products, they have great pro controls like wireless CMRX. Now, Aperture does sell a softbox for the one, two, and four foot versions of the Infinibar. This is the two foot version. I don't have the one foot version, but by looking at this one, I can tell that either one of these lights are gonna work very well inside of the softbox. So if you need a softbox, well, get the one for the Infinibars and put it on your MT Pro. So no money changes hands there. Now, admittedly, the Infinibar does come with this really cool baby pen adapter, and it's a rail system, and it just slides in here like this and slides where you want it, and then tightens up just like that, and then very easily attaches to a C-stand. This is real value. How much? Well, guess what? For $25, you can get a similar baby pen adapter for the MT Pro. So we'll have to take back $25. But the MT Pro also comes with an accessory that is not found in the Infinibar case, and that's this little mini ball head tripod. And what's that worth? Eh, probably about five bucks, not much. So we'll put five bucks back. It's a nice tripod, but it's no baby pen adapter. So there you have it. The MT Pro either matches or beats the Infinibar in every single category. And it's a significant savings to buy the MT Pro over the Infinibar. So I would suggest you get one. I happen to have two. And if you do purchase one, please use my affiliate link below. It won't cost you any more and I'll get a little cutback and maybe I can buy some other things like a baby pin adapter and a uh, softbox for this little light here. Okay, now did you wanna say something? Yes, thank you. I'll start by asking you a question. Which is more valuable, this little matchbox car or this single piece of Lego? So is the Matchbox car more valuable than Lego? Well, I would say that that depends on how many Lego you have. So if you're only gonna buy one light, well, then he's right. The MT Pro is a better value. But I would argue that the Infinibars are the Legos of lights because when combined, they can do a whole lot more than the MT Pro. Because what he forgot to include was this accessory. Each one of these Infinibars comes with one of these straight connectors, and it not only allows you to connect two together, but allows you to transfer power from one to the other. And this isn't the only connection available to you. There are a myriad of other connectors that allow you to make pretty much any shape that you can imagine. And included with each Infinibar is a power adapter that will allow you to power and charge up to four feet of Infinibars. You can also get additional adapters to do up to 18 or 24 feet. Now the Infinibars are designed to have as little of a gap as possible between the bars. So when you turn on the lights, depending on how you set them, well, you can barely see it. Now the MT Pro has worked to have a small gap, but there is a gap nonetheless. And even if I turn them all the way up, well, there's nothing I can do that will blow out that gap. 
Now, while these Infinibars work great as a video light, they are primarily designed to look fantastic on camera in the frame. And while the MT Pro is brighter, it tends to be brighter in the middle. It has a hot spot. The Infinibar spreads the light out more evenly across the bar. One of the reasons it's not as bright. And yes, the MT Pro does have more pixels, but look at them. Which one of these two has the smoothest gradient? Because specs don't always tell the full story. Now, another reason that the Infinibar is not as bright is that the Infinibar is concentrated on being able to go very, very dim. Here, let me show you. These are both set at their lowest setting, the MT Pro at 1% and the Infinibar at 0.1%. So as a practical light, the priority is on the dimming side, not the brightness, as long as it's bright enough, which it is. So the result of all these design elements is that Aperture has given us a light unlike any other light that's come before. And what's that worth? Well, it's certainly worth the increased price of the light, as long as you buy more than one. If not, well, he's right, the MT Pro is for you. But let's just take a look at some of the amazing things that people have done with these Infinibars. Well, those are pretty impressive, but what about the solo creator or a lonely documentary filmmaker like myself? What was I able to do with these Infinibars? Well, I used them to build this portal and transport myself to Aperture headquarters in LA and steal their latest light. Hey, wait, wait! You can watch that video right over there. I think you'll like it. Oh yeah, that was a good video. Well, thanks. So the affiliate link works for both Aperture and Amaran products. And be sure to subscribe to this channel. Now, I've been trying to get them to subscribe. They, they don't want to subscribe. What? Ask for a like or something, but really? Trust me.